Hey everybody, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Chris Hine Ensemble String Library, which is a library for the Contact player. You do not need the full version of Contact. It loads up very nicely in your library panel over here. So I know some of you will like that. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so when I load up the Chris Hine Ensemble strings, there are going to be a variety of instruments here, as you can see. So we have like a full ensemble high, low, and mid um, sections. So the low is going to be like the cello and the basses. And then you can also load up the individual sections here. We also have a small ensemble, more of a chamber string type sound here. We have the small, high, low, and mid, as well as small for each of the individual sections, violins, violas, cellos, and basses. There is another video that goes more in depth over the control and all of the different things you can do with it, more of like a tutorial that Ruben did. So definitely check that one out because this one is not going to be as in depth on the overall tutorial and function. We're just going to check out the sound and how you can use it. So here I've got loaded up the full ensemble high. The key switches are down here in the green. As you can see, it kind of starts up with this dynamic expressive long, which I really like. You can hear that kind of has the vibrato and a little bit of the dynamic swell already kind of baked in as part of the performance. So it sounds a lot more realistic than say, riding CC01 in your mod wheel with a kind of regular sustained note, which you can do as well. There's also five different short notes, excuse me, six different short notes and six different spiccato notes, trills, and then some effects here. The effects are really cool. Um, this one is runs. By default, everything is programmed in to be velocity sensitive. As you can see here, dynamic, it says keyboard. That means how hard you press on the key. You can see these three dynamic layers here it will highlight which one you're triggering when you press the key. So very lightly will be one, medium is two, and then really hard is three. You can also do kind of a crossfade. So for instance, if you wanted the sustains to be on a crossfade. and you can assign that to your CC01 as well, or any MIDI control that you'd like. There's a ton of control for the different parameters, like transient, you can have the attack really sharp, you can lower it and have a more smooth attack. Um, the legato, there's a lot of different parameters you can adjust there. The speed, you can have like this long legato, But I mean, you can adjust the speed, the offset, everything there. Um, and it's kind of a, you know, very deep level of control there. And then you can have this polyphonic legato here. A pizzicato.
big variety of different short lengths. clusters here. They call a cluster cloud. It's kind of a unique effect there. And then you have repetitions here. Just check out the, the low ensemble real quick. We'll do the small low ensemble. First, we did the full high. The first thing I did in that other one was turn off the room, and I have it sent um, to my own kind of favorite reverbs and everything. So if you don't want to do that, I mean, you can use the built-in reverb, and then there's also this body control, which kind of alters the sound I'll show you that but you can also have it very dry if you want you can just turn both these off and have no reverb sense at all um, so if you hear it and you notice it's wet it's because I have it sent to these two if I turn that off and you turn off the reverb in the body it'll be very dry turn on the body a bit You can immediately hear it kind of spreads out the sound, um, makes them kind of sit further back a little bit, um, kind of sound a bit more dense and not as right up front in your face. And then you turn on the room and it adds that reverb, the convolution. So you can have it totally dry if you want as well. Just a demonstration of that. Let's check out the low sound very quickly. So that was just a quick look and listen to the Chris Hine Ensemble Strings. Uh, it's very nice sound. It's very sculptable. <laughs> you can mold it to be dry. You can mold it to sit forward or backwards in a mix. And of course, there are a lot of different controls available here. Uh, it may be a bit overwhelming, but just know that you can just, you know, pick it up and play it. And it sounds great right out of the box. But then there's this little bit of control um, that a lot of other libraries just don't have. So you can really shape the sound to kind of fit your specific project and style. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to check out the other videos, the tutorial from Ruben, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.